Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Crystal, the raw spiritual guru, coming through with your May monthly hey ear sign. So this is for the ear signs. That's the Aquarius, Gemini's, and Libra. And we're in May, and Gemini season is coming up. So happy Earth Day to the Gemini's. So um, what I'm going to do with this reading, guys, is I'm going to go over your may monthly and we're not going to do charms this read and instead we're going to do a yes and no answer for each individual sign so we'll do a yes and no answer for our gemini's our aquarius's as well as our libra's right so um if this is your first time visiting thank you for tuning into the ic my name is crystal i am the raw spiritual guru here to deliver a message to you and if this is your um second time or third time or how many times returning i thank you for your time and your energy and thank you for choosing me to be your reader right so guys if you don't know the ic is my metaphysical ugh, my metaphysical shop which is um different like magical tools that i sell as well as crystal and copper jewelry handmade i also sell aura sprays as well as different magical items for your uh, spiritual needs and I also sell herbal supplements too for your health needs as well as guys. So make sure you check me out. My link is below www.rootsoflife123.com. All right, enough with that intro. Let's get to it. So for the air signs, what is going to be the overall energy for you in May air signs, right? What is your overall energy in May? Whew, starting out with the five of swords air signs followed by... The ace of cups so okay I'll give me one more card okay 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 so you got the ace of cups as well as the ace of pentacles right as well as the five of swords so i'm showing that the five of swords might be past energy that you're finalizing or that's coming to an end for you because you have two new beginning cards, right? So that's just letting me know that you might still be going through a cycle at this time in the beginning of May that might start like subsiding towards the middle and the end of May. So air signs, I'm showing that it's um, a possibility that you guys might be going through some type of um, self-depression, self-pity, even some anxiety type of energy at the moment. Um, you might feel as though that others might be deceiving you in one way or another, that there might be some type of resistance in your life, whether it's resistance to change a lifestyle or to leave someone or to make changes like job changes or a move. I'm showing like you're resistant or it's something that you want to do that you're putting resistance towards, right? Um, I'm also showing that you might have to defend yourself a lot at this time and walk away from disagreements because you're not really trying to be in that type of energy. So I'm really showing that there's a lot of people that might be around you that's trying to like change your perception or your mindset. Um, like you're trying to keep a positive outlook, more optimistic. You know that things haven't been the greatest, but they are going to get better. And in order for you to... Um, move forward with that mindset you know that there's some things that you need to change that might be holding you back right with the five of swords being here so because it's people in your energy that is kind of trying to hold you back and keep you in a depressant mindset set um that make you feel bad that make you um you know feel like you're getting bullied and into doing things um maybe you might have people around you that like um manipulate you and that could be a form of bullying as well try to make you do things that you kind of don't want to do or that don't sit right in your spirit but like you still do it um and it causes you some type of depression or um stress or anxiety right so i'm showing that that's some type of energy that was kind of lingering from the past and in this new cycle that you're going to in may i'm showing that that energy is going to clear up and subside because you have both of the aces on the board that followed that energy 
So you have some type of newness coming with love as well as prosperity. It's like the universe is going to bring unexpected blessings your way, air signs. It could be unexpected blessings and money. It could be an engagement, love. Um, it could be luck. <clears throat> It could be new projects, a new home, a new job, um, some type of new beginning, like I said, in love with someone. New love could be coming through. Maybe a deep connection of love coming to you as well. Maybe for people um, that's trying to get pregnant, even some type of conception. And if you're not trying to get pregnant, use that protection, okay? Because uh, newness is coming through. I'm showing a baby might be coming along with it as well. If you don't want that, you use that protection. Okay, okay. Um, but you have some happiness and some spiritual blessings coming to you as well, air signs. Um, this would probably be a great time for you to gamble because if you did, you could possibly win. Um, but if you wanted to buy a home, um, this might be a good time for you to look into that as well because luck is going to be on your side. If you wanted to start a new job, um, start a new business, start a new project, this will be a best time for you to do so as well because luck is going to be on your side. So you're leaving an energy of um, pain and disparity and being held back to stepping into an energy full of life, newness, and um, unexpected blessings that's going to be coming your way. So that is such a beautiful change from what you were just going through. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's your overall energy message. So we're going to go with love. So let's see what's going to go on love. Go with love for you air signs because, you know, love came out in your general message. So let's see what's going to happen for you. Please give me some messages for love for May for our air signs. Okay, you got the worth waiting for. Healing family issues came out. All right, and true love. So that's beautiful. So you might be meeting the love of your life in May, okay? I'm showing this newness. I'm not really showing anything of old love like an ex or anything i'm showing that you might have a new person that's going to be coming in love for you air signs right so it's up to you if you want to entertain it or not where are you currently at in your life that you um like are you still in that energy that you kind of walk away from things that's not holding you back and you don't really want love to come into your life it just depends you got to be real with yourself where where are you currently at you have the hill and family issues on the board so Maybe you have some type of healing you might need to do with your parents. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, right? So I'm not sure if, you know, you might have some type of jaded relationship with your parents or um, things that's deep rooted stem from childhood that you might need to work on, how you look at love from your parents, you know, but you know, as you continue to heal any type of family issues, that will help your love life increase and be enhanced. So you are worth waiting for. So know that divine timing is at play right now in your love life and the divine is bringing true love into your life. Okay, new love, true love into your life, air signs. Are you ready for it? Because you're going to be meeting a person that's going to be a romantic partner of a lifetime. It might be someone you would never expect to be with. It might be someone that just come out the blue. You literally might be going to the gas station pumping gas and somebody pull up right behind you and say, hi, I like your shoes or hi, you look nice today and spark up a conversation and it just changed your life for the better though. So it's going to be that type of scenario, not the gas station, but unexpected. Okay. So please give us some more, um, Give us some more information for the air signs, please, and love. More information in the air signs, love. Oh, my gosh. Engagement ring. Woo, child. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, union, completion. Okay, so this true love, you know I said they might try to get you either pregnant or get pregnant by you or that could be you all right so then you got coffee cup 
Um, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, and then you got stabbed in the back. So that says heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. So, all right. So the scenarios that I'm getting for you guys is that you're going to be meeting someone new in May when it comes to love. Um, you guys might start off as friends and then it might turn into something more. That small compliment can basically have you guys link up to just have like a friendly encounter with each other. And you guys might really find out that you have a lot more in common than you think. And you guys might really actually consider moving forward with this person and dating them. And it could really be something life um, changing and um, long lasting right with this engagement and partnership being here some type of commitment could come out I don't necessarily mean you guys are getting married tomorrow but it could turn into a commitment that can lead to marriage right with the stabbed in the back i'm showing that's more of this five of swords energy with the stabbed in the back if you continue if you continue the cycle of pain that you need to let go of it's a possibility that this might be a self-sabotaging energy that you may sabotage yourself when it comes to any type of new partnerships dealing with love new people that might come into your life in love is like um because you're still holding on to like the self-pity and like the fighting or defending of yourself um it's like you might put up a guard and you know you might not let anyone come in when it comes to love and that could just continue to cause pain and heartbreak for you because then you might have the mindset like oh what's wrong with me why don't people want to deal with me like that and it's really because you're still in that energy that you need to let go you have a lot of new beginners that's trying to come to you but you can only um, accept those new beginners as if you see everything that you're going through right now as it is accept it and move forward with your life any more um messages for the air signs please and love passion is hot give me more Ooh, ooh. sex and foreplay oh y'all y'all nasty hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah this person gonna be the new person all right <laughs> oh that's it you or this person got sex on the mind let's make love all night long passion is hot give me more sex and foreplay please okay so blank 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 y'all i don't know i'm just thinking oh my god all these just nasty images just came in my head positions and on the floor and outside i heard one to we can do it in the shower both of our bodies <laughs> y'all are something else air signs all right so whoever you meeting y'all better use protection because conception is right there on the board okay because we can do it in the shower both our bodies dripping wet on the patio we can make a nice you won't forget <laughs> okay y'all whoever y'all gonna be meeting you gonna feel like this person is a true love for you and y'all gonna be very sexually compatible you heard me like when it comes to sex y'all gonna be able to make memories okay and make babies so wrap it up all right y'all so we're going to get into your spiritual message right so please give me a spiritual message for may for our air signs please give me a spiritual message for may for our air signs please spirit please give me a spiritual message for may for our air signs please give me a spiritual message for may for our air signs all right so you need to work on your chakras period um I say that because you got two cards that show the chakras. All the chakra colors. So you need to balance your chakras first and foremost. Air signs is important for you to balance your chakras. You need to probably, um, you could go on YouTube and just do a chakra clearing uh, meditation. They have guided chakra um, balance and meditations as well. That's just a quick way for you to balance your chakras. You could go out to nature, ground yourself, you know, ask for guidance. You know, there's different ways that you can balance your chakras, but it's really important for you to get in balance, right? In the month of May, you have responsibility, adventure, and creativity. 
So I'm hearing that it's your responsibility to basically check what you need to check, handle what you need to handle, especially when it comes to your mental health and when it comes to people around you that's not serving your greatest good, right? Sometimes we like to hold on to things a little longer than we should. I'm hearing that you need to release them and let go. So allow, because the divine is trying to allow things to flow in your life. And the only way they are going to be able to is if you take the responsibility to see things for what they are, handle them so you can move forward and allow your blessings to come through. It's an adventure that is waiting for you. It's a beautiful adventure that's waiting for you, air signs, but you just gotta be able to be ready for it. Spirit is also saying to tap into your creativity, whatever creativity means for you. Whatever you do as a creative practice, okay? Tap into your creativity more because that's where you find a lot of your peace and your truth, right? If you look at this card, you see the cup and it's kind of like the energy is all over the place. So that's the kind of energy that I'm currently getting right now. And not even that though, right? If you look at this card fully, look at the um, the outlining of the card. It's a woman and she's holding that cup right near her yoni. If you really look at that card. So um, I'm showing that you might need to create sexual magic if you're able to. If you know what that is, you can um, do some sex magic to tap into your creativities. But even if you're not like in a sexual you know, if you're not being sexually active with anyone right now, utilize your sacral chakra. That's your second chakra. Utilize your sacral ch chakra to tap into your sexuality to create and manifest what it is that you want. It's like letting you know that it's a... All right. So like I said, you need to work on your chakras, but this straight telling me that you really need to work on your sacral chakra. You really need to work on your sacred chakra. You need to work on all of them. Make sure they're all balanced, but you need to pay special attention to your sacred chakra air signs, okay? Because that is really out of whack and that's just going all over the place. And it's like, it's not, it's black. It's black. Sacred was red. It's black. So um, your creativity is being blocked. And I believe it might be being blocked because you have a lot of mental distress, right? Once you let go of that, uh, venture is waiting for you you're going to be able to find this new person you're going to have many blessings that's going to be coming your way you'll be able to manifest your reality fully but you have to take care of what you need to take care of okay so let's get some more um spiritual messages for you please give me some more spiritual messages please Ooh. Please give me some more spiritual messages for the ear signs. Okay, this one came out. A change is needed. What I said. Okay, please give me some more spiritual messages for the ear signs. Spirit. Work on your crown chakra. Your chakras are just all out of balance, okay? So, your sacred chakra and your crown chakra mainly, but... Work on all your chakras. Just get them in balance. I'll just take them too. Pray and seek spiritual advice. So you need to get in tune with your spiritual self. You need to get in tune with like whoever you value as a spiritual coach or, you know, a priest or if you're in religion, like your pastor. Um, if you're not into religion, your spiritual um, advisor. So it's like basically speak, excuse me, seek spiritual advice pray work on your crown chakra and a change is needed right so it's just more so the distress that you are going through possibly currently and you're trying to let go from the past and you're bringing it into may so you just need to to make changes so these abund this abundance can come to you <laughs> work on your creativity as well as your your sacral chakra and work on your crown chakra those two are very important for you because they're being highlighted but it seems like your chakras in general might be out of balance so you need to work on that and pray a little bit more have like a talk with your higher self your the divine your ancestors you know that's a conversation between you and them so let's see what your money message is going to be for may All right, what is the money message for air signs? And remember, it's a general reading, so take what resonate and leave what don't, guys. This is the message that's just coming through, and I'm just delivering what I see you dig. All right. All right, so what's your money message, air signs?
Okay. So take a leap of faith when it comes to money. Like I said, in this in this month, money is going to be on your side. Luck is on your side. Unexpected blessings are going to be on your side. So take a leap of faith. It's something... If an opportunity comes to you and it presents itself and it makes sense, then it makes dollars. If it don't make sense, it don't make dollars. So if it makes sense to you, it seems like it's going to be a profitable opportunity. It's going to be something that might be life-changing and long-lasting. Excuse my list. I just be talking too fast sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So my bad. But um, just take a leap of faith if it makes sense for you, okay? Um, Because I'm showing that luck is on your side. Spirit also wants you to focus on your vision. So that goes back to your creativity. What is it that you're trying to do? What goals are you trying to reach? What um what did you set forth for yourself? Is it coming to light? Are you working on it? Are you putting effort behind it? You need to work on your vision right now. Whatever vision you have for yourself, for your reality, you need to cater to it and continue to allow it to blossom into the flower that's supposed to be. You also need a vacation. Some of you guys might need to take a vacation. Um, you might, like I said, your your chakras might be out of whack just because you might really need a vacation. So Spirit is saying that in order for you to, you know, gain balance, you might need to go on vacation. Even if it's a small vacation, a vacation is needed for you, okay? So those are your money messages, and that's your message for May. So I'm going to get into your yes questions, your yes or no questions, right? So, um... We're going to start with Gemini since their Earth Day is coming up. So, Gemini, this is going to be for you. So, you get to ask one question. Whatever your question is, I'm going to pull a angel answer card. And I'll let you know what your, your answer is going to be. I'm going to pull two of them, though, okay? So, think of the question that you want answered. So, for, Air, for Gemini's, what is the answer to their question, please? What is the answer to Gemini's question? And let me know if y'all like this over the charms because I'm just debating if I should do the charms or just do these going forward. So your comments will be appreciated below. Oh, before I do this though, I'm in a competition as well, guys. So I'm going to put the link below as well. I'm in a Nubian Queen contest for... Um, small business owners in my area and i would greatly appreciate your vote so just please click the link below and show me some love that way as well it is very much so needed and will be very much so appreciated so please do that favor for me back to gemini <laughs> so gemini <clears throat> what is your answer Two cards, please. Oh, Gemini, they got a lot to say. They got a lot to say. So even with that message right there, there's a lot to be said about the questions you're asking. All right, two cards. All right, well, let that one come out. If you believe... Yes. Okay. So whatever the answer, excuse me, whatever your question was, this is the answer. You have yes and if you believe. So the guides are saying that it's a straight out yes. It's a straight out yes. If you believe that it will be so. Okay. So yours was just straight, clear cut. Your answer is yes, Gemini. And if you believe, then it will be so. So I'm getting with the if you believe, then it will be so. It's like maybe you might be doubting something, a situation, a person. Um, it's just saying like if you have faith, if you believe, if you change your mindset, then anything is possible. Okay? A job opportunity, anything is possible. If you believe, then it will be achieved. So yes. Okay. Thank you, Gemini's. Enjoy your Earth Day month. <laughs> All right. So on to Libras. Libras, get your question ready. Okay. And I'm going to pull two cards for your answer in case you didn't stick around for the Gemini. Guys, I'm in a competition. I need your vote. I'm in a Nubian Queen competition for um, a small businesses in my area and the link is in the bio so please vote for me okay i'm really trying to win this and i will appreciate any and every vote i can get guys so please help a sister out share it thank you thank you on to your answer okay <laughs> 
What is the answer for our Libra? What is Libra's answer? Okay. Um, all right. So you didn't get a yes or no Libra. So you got helpful people and you got you're ready. So what I'm getting from that, the, the vibe is really is like um the people around you can help you with a lot of the answers that you have. I don't know if you might be a real personal person, a private person, whereas though you don't really like to give people that much room or rope to be in your life like that. But I'm showing that you have a lot of people around you that's willing to help you in any situation that you might be in. So if you might feel like you might be... um. Your hands might be tied in certain situations saying ask for help and then you would get it <clears throat> and trust yourself you're ready so kind of trust yourself know that you have what it takes to fulfill whatever it is that you're trying to do or if you're not trying to fulfill if you're trying to leave something you're ready if you're trying to start something you're ready whatever it is that you're trying to achieve you're ready and whatever it is you're trying to release you're ready okay so Libra, that was your message. Thank you for tuning in. If it resonated, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And last but not least, Aquarius. Aquarius, if you didn't stick around for the message I said that I'm in a Nubian Queen contest, guys. I'm in a Nubian Queen contest around um, my area for small businesses. So I would greatly appreciate you guys clicking on that link in that bio section that says Nubian Queen contest and vote for your girl. Vote for your girl because I need every vote because I'm trying to win. Okay, so it would be greatly appreciated. On to your answer. <laughs> All right. So what is the answer for Aquarius question? What is Aquarius answer, please, spirit? Okay, so you have not at not the right time and you have take action. So what I'm getting with this is right now is just not the right time. So if you was asking for like if you should um make some certain changes in your life, if you was asking about like taking a leap of faith um i'm getting more so like with the take action that's more geared towards like business and new love right but i'm getting um with not at the right time as well so these two both kind of go with business and, and love right so taking action more so is like right now it's best for you to take action when it comes to like who you are who you're trying to be your spiritual growth if you're trying to start something new like a project um if you're trying to even start like a new love connection you want to probably take action but not not at the right time is more so like trying to say like if you want something if you're trying to dive deep like like if you're trying to dive like really really deep into like a situation like um for example like if you um do get with someone and you like should we have a kid no now is not the right time or should I propose? No, now is not the right time. Like, should I relocate miles away? No, now, now is not the right time. Like, things that might be long lasting at the moment is not at the right time. But if it's something right now that's short term that could be fulfilling to you, then yes, take action. I hope that made sense. All right, Libra, I'm um, excuse me, Aquarius. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for your love and your support. Until next time, peace.